10 minutes to answer as many of your questions as possible. Facebook first, facebook.com backslash CBS Fantasy Football. Their questions or our questions? Their questions. Oh, okay, just wanted to check. <laughs> what did I say, your question? No, I wanted to ask a question, but uh, oh, go ahead. First, these questions, <laughs> if we have time at the end. Ian right. asks, would you start Jason Hill or Demarius Thomas? I'm starting Megatron and Brandon Lloyd. Should I bench one of them for the first two? No, not Megatron, at least. It's a standard league. Uh, could you put in Jason Hill or Demarius Thomas for Brandon Lloyd? Absolutely not. When you look at the New Orleans Saints, they've given up 12 passing touchdowns on the year, eight to wide receivers, third most. Brandon Lloyd got 12 targets last week, six catches, 74 yards. That's not too shabby. They're going to have to throw the ball in this game. They're going to be behind, and hopefully they do a better job playing from behind than the Indianapolis Colts did on Sunday. But I like Brandon Lloyd. Two red zone targets as well. Yep. Should have scored last week. Absolutely you start that guy. And in between Jason Hill and Thomas, I'm going to go with Thomas. I think there's a little more upside there with Demarius Thomas than Jason Hill. I know he's had six fantasy points in three games, but when that's the stat you're citing for somebody sure. to be good, that's not so good. Yeah. Greg Markham keeps it simple, and again, Jason Hill. Jason Hill or Torrey Smith, Jamie? I think if you want to play it safe, it's Jason Hill, because Torrey Smith at times just tends to disappear. But Torrey Smith, to me, has a ton of upside in this matchup. You know, we talked about the Patriots and the 20-plus catches that they've allowed. The Cardinals allowed 30-plus catches of over 20 yards. So, uh, I think I said that right. 30, 30, 30 catches yes. of over 20-plus yards. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so, Torrey Smith, you know, I like the fact that they're taking shots at him. He had the pass interference call in the, in the game where... For whatever reason, Jack Del Rio thought Joe Flacco stepped out of bounds on that horrible uh, that was crazy. replay call there. But, you know, I think safety, Jason Hill, because as you said, at least he's getting you those six right. fantasy points. The targets have been there, 28 targets in his last four games. He's become the number one guy for the Jaguars. But I still think the upside.